Hey you guys, it's Nurse Devin D back to give you another life update. Um, so it's been a little while since I've been posting a video and I'm really, really trying to do better, but I just, life just be taking me out. I'm just not even going to lie to you. Like <laughs> your girl just be on her days off. Okay. I'm trying to do better. I promise I am. Anyway, so in today's update, um, I want to let you guys know that I have come to you to tell you that I have added another certification to my repertoire, um, mainly because at my job, I have taken on some advanced skills and I wanted to just further my understanding and my knowledge with doing what I'm doing. So um, I work at a, a level one trauma center in a, a big city here near where I live. And um, I became a nurse later in life. So I've only been a nurse coming up on two years. Um, so I'm really excited about the, the path that I've come on and the things that I've been able to accomplish in this short amount of time. By God's grace, I've been able to learn a, a whole, whole lot. I've been, you know, fortunate to have like really smart people in my life who've helped me along the way. And then I've been really, really diligent about my education and informing myself and trying to be the best nurse that I can be because I did feel like I started out late in life. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, um, I the skill set that I have been able to start doing at my job is I am open heart trained now. So I can take the fresh cabbages or the valve surgeries or whatever. Um, but coming along with that, I always felt like cardiac was just such a vast um, subject matter that sometimes it's like, I don't really understand why we're doing that thing. And that's just not safe to do when you're you know responsible for this fresh post-op patient. So um, because of that, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and get my cardiac medicine certification. Um, it's an adjunct to the CCRN. So you have to get that first and then you can get the cardiac medicine certification as an adjunct to that certification. It's all about cardiac. Um, well, there's a couple of questions that are like not cardiac themed, but they're related to cardiac in nature. Um, but Anyway, the, the test is heavy cardiac based, um, you know, disease processes, treatments, um, different things to do with all of the cardiac issues that you could occur or that could occur that you may see in your ICU or your hospital. So with that being said, um, you take the test the same way, like you take the CCRN, you have to register on the AACN website. Um, you have to take the... Um, like the honor statement that you've worked a certain amount of time in the proper, you know, area, you've gotten a certain amount of hours or whatever, um, which is no problem if you've already got your CCR in. So uh, I did that and I gave myself three weeks to take the test because you know me, I'm always trying to like <laughs> do it quickly. Um, I gave myself three weeks to take the exam, but I was rather shocked at how little, um, study materials there were. When I was taking my CCR in last year, there was so many like materials, so many re review programs and all of the things to help out with that. I was like struggling to find something to help me with the CMC. So I did buy a couple of things and I probably made some mistakes along the way, but whatever, I had to figure it out. So the first thing that I bought was the um, Nicole Cupchick, the CMC. She had a plan with a review and a book that went with it. So the book looks like this. I used her other book to take the questions, um, the the, the practice questions for the CCR, and I used her book. So I'm like, why not try this one? So this one comes with like some like didactic in the beginning, and then it has questions or four different quiz questions in the back. Um, the review was a little vague, um, especially if you don't have a heavy understanding of cardiac anyway. The review is a little vague. It's not going to get you through it. The questions were good quality questions. Her questions always are. But the review itself, the videos are very short. So if you have a short attention span, they're good videos to watch. But the review by itself is not enough, in my opinion. So I'm like, well, darn, I don't want to be like overly confident in thinking that I just got it in a bag and then mess it up. Right. So I went on Amazon and just looked for CMC like test practice things. And I found this one. Um, the how do you say that? Mometrics, Mometrics CMC study guide. Um, this one was actually pretty decent. Um, 
the it covers all of the areas that are going to be tested on the exam but it's very like succinct until the point like it lets you know this is the thing you know about this this thing you know about that and then there's a hundred 100 questions uh, of practice at the back and i really think this was pretty clutch so i recommend this all the way um the other thing that i did was uh, because i was having such a hard time finding materials to practice with i went ahead and bought the the practice questions from the AAC and it was like 10 bucks when I paid for my test. The test is $130 if you're a member of the AAC in, which I think you should be. Um, it's a great thing. You get free CEs and all that good stuff. So it was 10 bucks extra. Um, but they were sending it to me from California. I live in Texas and it took forever for that book to arrive. This is what the book looks like. It came to me the night before my test was scheduled for the next day. And I don't know if it just got lost in the mail. The mail's been doing a lot lately. But so I got it the night before my test and I quickly ran through it. There is a hundred questions in this one as well. And you know, I also like to use this book because it came straight from the people who wrote the exam. So I made a really good grade on this, but it was after I had used this grade, I mean this book and gone through the Nicole Kupchik stuff. So I did a little bit of pre-studying. I went through the car went back through the cardiac section of the CCRN um materials that I had um so I had done some pre-studying before I took this but I felt pretty good that I had scored the grade that I scored on here the night before my exam so with that being said there are 90 questions um 15 of them are field questions that are not scored so 75 will be scored you have to get I believe a 52 to pass that's the passing score that you have to get you have to get 52 answers correct to get your certification and it's good for three years i believe so that's what i've done this past time these past couple months is what i've been doing trying to beef up my skill set and just get all the knowledge i can be i'm totally a bookworm like i forever love school i love to learn i love to get new new information and just build on this knowledge that i have that i'm obtaining nursing is such a vast topic and I'm just I feel like I'm just barely touching the iceberg but working at my hospital and being surrounded by the friends that I'm surrounded by and just having the zeal to continue to learn has really really pushed me and propelled me to look after things look into things that I can get to better myself as a nurse and as a practitioner you know and to make good educated clinical judgment um, when I'm faced with the situation so that's what's been going on in my life aside from working 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 and working some more um, I try to always stay up on my education because I think that's very important. It's always a love of mine. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll try not to be so long in posting my next one. But anyway, thank you so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.